Hello, Accounting 201 students. This is Professor Hassey. It's our week number six introduction video. Today is Sunday, October 4th, and uh, I'm just giving you a, a review of what we're going to be doing this upcoming week in accounting. First of all, we're going to complete the problem 4-5a on page 201, and I've already started it. I'm going to show you some of the early returns uh, on the spreadsheet in just a moment. We'll also be distributing the 10K uh, paper uh, this week, uh, the topics, and you are to select a company of which you're going to be doing your 10K paper on and have that submitted on October 18th along with your examination number one work. We'll be having a homework assignment this week in class on Wednesday. Uh, where I will be giving you uh, some work to do and you'll be posting that immediately during the class to Blackboard and uh, doing that this coming Wednesday. But let's take a look at the first section of, a, of problem 4-5a, which I would like you to do, or maybe you've already done it and you can do this as your check work. This is posted to the Blackboard in week six and I'll show you where that file is posted in just a minute. But here are the uh, JARA's cleaning service journal ent general journal entries for problem 4-5a. Uh, they received cash and issued and got common stock on July 1. They purchased equipment for cash and accounts payable on July 1st. July 3rd, they purchased supplies on account, accounts payable. July 5th, they purchased insurance in advance, prepaid insurance with cash. July 12th, they uh, sold or had some service revenue provided, accounts receivable on account, service revenue. They paid off uh, part of the uh, accounts payable for the equipment and the supplies on July 18th, $2,900 with cash. They paid salaries for the first part of the month on July 20th for $2,500 with cash. They, pay, they received $3,400 of part of their accounts receivable on July 21st, receiving cash, crediting the receivable. Then on July 25th, they billed some more sales of services provided, accounts receivable, service revenue, $6,000. July 31st, they paid gasoline expense for $350 with cash. And on July 31st, they paid out dividends, quite a lot of dividends, $5,600 with cash. Those are the opening journal entries for 4-5A. Then I went ahead and posted those to the general ledger. Here are the postings right here to the general ledger tab with the account balances in dark at the end of the first round of the journal entries. And then I took those general ledger balances and inserted them in the worksheet here, right here, the trial balance. And I came up with a trial balance of $34,700. So my trial balance is equal after my original journal entries for Jera's cleaning service, right there. Then I did the adjusting entries in the second part and the next part of the problem, the adjusting entries where they accrued $2,700 of, rev of revenue that remains unpaid. They had $500 of depreciation expense, accumulated depreciation. One twelfth of the prepaid insurance has now been earned. One twelfth of $1,800 is $150. Debit insurance expense, credit the prepaid. They've determined that $900 of, remember our supplies account here, where is it? We originally purchased 2,100. They tell us in the journal entry that 600 supplies are on hand. So that means a debit of supplies expense, $1,500 and a credit to supplies. And $1,000 of wages have been incurred but remain unpaid, debit expense, credit salaries payable. So there's the adjusting entries. And notice where I inserted them in the adjustments column on the worksheet. Here are all those adjusting entries, receivable, revenue, supplies, expense, and so on. And then I went across and put these new account balances over in the adjusted trial balance, adjusting the, the accounts, notice accounts receivable with that additional adjustment now has a $9,800 balance. Supplies with that additional credit adjustment now has a $600 balance and so on. And there's my adjusted trial balance. 
I can now prepare the financial statements for this company for the month of July with a adjusted trial balance of $38,900. I also on this problem posted the adjusting entries, as you can see here, July 31 to the ledger, and those are all up to date and matching. So what I would like you to do for tomorrow, or if you've not already, if you've done so, don't worry about it, is what we're going to be doing in class tomorrow is completing the income statement columns of the worksheet, preparing the actual income statements right here, and then doing the closing journal entries, closing out the revenue expense and dividend accounts to the income summary, which is what chapter four is all about. We've already done these already in chapters two and three. Now you are, if you'd like, and I will be completing this tomorrow in class, completing the worksheet for income statement and balance sheet, preparing the actual financial statements, doing the closing entries, and then preparing a post-closing trial balance to complete the accounting cycle. So that's your job if you care to do so. We're going to have a problem very similar to this on exam number one, in another week and in your homework assignment in class this Wednesday. So this would be a good time to practice that. Here's our black, uh, Blackboard account. And if you go to week six and seven, chapter four file folder, you'll see the agenda for this week that I just showed you. Also, this is where I'll post the introduction video. And here is the updated spreadsheet for this problem 4-5 that I just showed you, completed through the adjusted trial balance. This is your check sheet if you've already done it. If not, what I would like you to do is continue this worksheet by doing what I just said, the financial statement columns on the worksheet, the actual financial statements, the closing journal entries, and the post-closing trial balance. So we're gonna do that again tomorrow in class. All right, we're all set for week number six. Have a great week, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow morning at 925. Adios.